Inya, seeing you stand and walk like this, I just... it's good to see. So, just what is it that brings you two here? I have a request for you. At one point, a small drone came to the bar. A drone? Oh, do you mean Digger? The drone heard Enya singing, said it recognized the song, then just left. I've done everything I can, but I can't seem to find that drone. Eve, I'm sorry to bother you with this. If it has something to do with my lost memories, do you think you can get more details from the drone? Well, Digger should be in Zion. It shouldn't be too difficult to find out. Oh, thank goodness. I'll let you know the second I hear anything. In the meantime, you should head back. Best to stay safe. Thank you. Thank you, always. Hello there. Good to see you, Digger. I'm glad that I moved here. It's all thanks to you, Eve. No, please. There's no need to thank me. Digger, you were the one who spoke with Enya, right? Yes. Artistic activities are truly amazing. It was my first time hearing a song. I feel like my understanding of human culture has improved considerably. I heard you know something about the song. I would like you to tell me more about it. Yes, Eve. You're a very special guest, so I'll tell you. The information actually has to do with Enya's song. I traveled through many different regions before settling at the Scrap Plains. I collected 149 petabytes of data during my journey. When in Zion, I discovered there was a person there who sang a song that matched previously recorded voice data in my audio archive. Different singers can sing the same song. No, the data similarity is so high that it leads me to believe it's the vocalization of the same person. I acquired this data from a location called the Opera House. It is now known as the Buried Ruins. Now I've told you everything I told Enya. All right. It's all starting to make sense, I think. Thank you, Digger. I'm glad to be of service. Please drop by again. This must be the Opera House. It's obviously ancient, but it looks so different from other ruins. I should investigate this more. Madama Machine, ADOS, Art Center. Information about time, host, organizer, and sponsors. Target audience, how to watch, admission on first come, first served basis. It seems that an autograph session with the stars was held after the performance. They even had a souvenir shop inside the Art Center. Hmm. There seems to be more data here about Enya. 
This is an analog security system. I see a familiar face. Is that Enya? There's a bit of data here as well. Let's see. I'm going beyond fate to be with everyone. Enya. Madama Machine. Main actress. Artificial actress. Enya. You can never totally rely on analog information transmission sources. Here does look really similar to our Enya. And she even has the same name. Let's change the subject. Enya, the people in your life have said that you've been over the moon to star in such a moving performance. Yes, that's correct. The moment I received the script, it just leapt off the page, and I thought, this is it. It was magical. I wondered what it would be like to be Madame Machine. By singing, you mean beyond faith, right? How does it feel? It's become quite a sensation across social media platforms. It's surreal. I never expected this much interest from so many people. I couldn't be more grateful to all my fans. I'll always give 100%. Some people have said that after hearing the masterpiece, they've been hungry to find out who this Enya is. Right now at the Art Center, be sure not to miss another spectacular performance of Madama Machine. Witness the artistry of every glamorous member of the Angels Opera Company. Featuring the sensational showstopper Beyond Fate, performed by the marvelous Enya as the main character Katakuri. What will be the fate of Katakuri? Will it be due? Will it be honor? Or will it be love? We are holding a lottery to participate in the Eidos Opera Company autograph signing event. More details can be found on the Art Center social media pages. From what I've gathered so far, it's like Digga said, the Enya here and the Enya in Zion were one and the same. Beyond Fate. Is that the title of the song? Let's see. So there was a performance here, and Enya was the lead singer. That about right? Our memory sticks are designed to store the most important information in the deepest places. The fact that that song was the only memory Enya had left proves just how important it is to her. Isn't that enough? I don't think you'll find anything else. Come on, let's get out of here. Okay then, let's go. everything go? Well, I found important information, thanks to Digger. It's about you, about your life before. It might just be speculation, but I think it's safe to assume Digger is right. I also found out the title of your song. I'm listening. You used to be an artist, in a broader collection of artists. But this was the most important clue. You were featured in a piece titled Madama Machine. The song you sang in it closely resembles the song you sing now. The song's title is Beyond Fate. Beyond Fate? Is that so? Yes, though that's only part of the whole picture. It's okay. This is enough. Are you... are you sure about that? I still have more to share. Mm. Beyond Fate. My past self could be urging me with those very same words. To try and make peace with the past I've lost, and accept what I have now. 
It seems as if my obsession has troubled many people. But now, I have someone looking out for me. Isn't that all that really matters? Well, I suppose you're right. Eve, thank you. You've done so much for us. All right, take this data. What is stored there will help you fully restore beyond fate. Okay, thank you, Eve. If I may, could I maybe ask you to sing that song for me now? Oh, I'd be happy to. a nativa response from underneath the sand. They're wandering around looking for something to hunt. Be careful as you go. What does this mean? The voice of truth. How considerate. He left coordinates. Well, I suppose we'd better follow him.
this person. It's hard to imagine someone in their right mind saying that. It's all mumbo jumbo. But I gotta admit, I respect that determination. Wait. There's something here. Doesn't your airborne squad use this recording device? You're right. Let me check. This is no good. The data's corrupted. Yeah. And here I thought we'd found something useful. Well, I guess this is it. Let's get going. We still need to report back to Francis. Okay. May your memories live on. Forever. This person. Wandering around the Great Desert is asking for trouble. A lot of it. There's a reason Zion makes a point of banishing its criminals. Still, something is strange about this. Who or what could have done this? Probably an Atiba. Or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Guess it doesn't really matter either way. That's true, but in any case, it says the data chips were flown away using drones. I'll search the area. What's an angel doing here? How are you involved? I know those people never made it back from the Great Desert. I see. So that's what happened. The truth can never be concealed. Have you not noticed something's wrong with Oracle? People settle for order and feign ignorance. What do you mean? Are you sure everything you believe is true, Angel? That is all I can say. But remember, next time, you might end up in our shoes. Welcome, sister. May Mother Sphere bless you. Do you have good news? I wish I did. Here. Felix's memory stick. No. What happened? It seems Felix was wandering through the Great Desert. Convinced he'd heard the voice of truth. He claimed that Mother Sphere was no god, and that he heard, saw, and felt the truth. I'm not sure if he had lost his mind, or if he was after something. It's a miracle I found his body. It cannot be. It might have been better if none of this had been revealed. He was mad. The words of a madman cannot be considered blasphemy. But... Why did Mother Sphere let Felix suffer such torment? And if Felix was indeed mad, then... Why would I come up in his last moment? Oh... Mother... Master of all knowledge... Why have you tasked me with such trials? Please... Forgive Felix. Please... Forgive me. As I pray, let there be light again. Let there be light again. There were many sacrifices made for Zion to become what it is today. How many more sacrifices will it take to bring peace?